After a very long break, hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm moving from working from home to a co-working space, so I need a portable setup. I searched for Bluetooth keyboards on Amazon and I really wasn't happy with the first results that came out. It's just a bunch of keyboards that look like the Apple Magic Keyboard. Speaking of the Magic Keyboard, I admit that I quite like it, but I wasn't going to pay more than $100 for it. Truth be told, I was actually considering one of those cheap Bluetooth keyboards, but then I had an idea. I searched for wireless mechanical keyboards, and to my surprise, I found this one from Royal Kludge. It currently sells for $41 Canadian dollars on Amazon Canada with no tax and $43 US dollars on Amazon US. You can find the links in the description. Before we check it out, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can make more videos. Let's start with the box. Last time I checked the cheap mechanical keyboard, it came with a generic box with the logo stickered on it. This one comes in a custom box, which is a good sign. In the box, you get the keyboard itself, a very long USB-A to USB-C cable for charging and wired use, as well as a keycap removal tool. I know this is bad practice, but I actually don't use a keycap removal tool to remove keycaps. However, as the keys are placed quite close to one another on this keyboard, you will need this. Looking at the layout of the keyboard, the first thing you'll realize is that it's 10 keyless. The legend itself is legible, although I don't understand why they printed the multimedia and function keys with paint. They'll undoubtedly fade over time. It's also backlit, but it's not RGB. Well, technically, it's the sum of R, G, and B. Well, it's just white. That being said, you can easily change the brightness, the patterns, as well as the speed. There are two LEDs on the right side of the keyboard. While their main aim is to act like caps and scroll lock indicators, they also work as a maximum brightness indicator for the backlight. Speaking of patterns, there are 12 of them. I keep mine in the most basic pattern, which is always on. You might not even notice this, but when you press a key, the LED for that key turns off and it turns back on ever so slowly. This might not say much to you, but at this price point, it's rare to see this much attention to detail. As for the actual design of the keyboard, I can't say much. If you ask someone to draw a keyboard for you, this is what you would get. Well, except the numpad. That being said, there is nothing awfully bad about it. Just like any other keyboard, it has stands on the bottom. The thing is, at this price point, I would expect a wireless mechanical keyboard to do the bare minimum and nothing more. However, this keyboard does much more than the bare minimum. For instance, the keyboard charges over USB-C instead of micro USB. More importantly, you can use this USB-C port for a wired setup. They could have just used that port for charging and no one would bat an eye at this price point. You might think that this is because it has a cheap Bluetooth chip that doesn't work half the time, but that's not true. It can't connect to multiple devices at the same time, but it can store up to 5 devices and switching between them is very easy. Press and hold the function and one of these keys until they start blinking, and you can immediately connect your device to the keyboard. I had a Logitech Bluetooth keyboard before, and it would take a good 15 seconds to switch from one device to another. And once it's connected, there is virtually no skips or lags. In terms of the battery life, Royal Clyde suggests that it can last up to 100 hours. Truth be told, I use this daily so I can't let it die on me, but even after a couple days of use, which would be around 30 hours, it still works. Again, according to the manufacturer, it has an 1850mAh battery. There is a red LED underneath the space key that comes on when you plug in the keyboard and comes off when it's fully charged. Alright, enough with details that might not interest everyone. The big question here is whether this is actually a mechanical keyboard. Removing one of the keycaps with the included keycap removal tool shows us that this is indeed a mechanical keyboard with blue switches. This has blue switches, but there are versions with red and browns as well. On the Amazon listing, it is stated that the keycaps have the same touch feel as cherries, which tells me right away that they are not cherry switches. When you remove a keycap, all you see is a little RK engraving. This means that they buy their switches from various manufacturers and just print their name on it. While it's perfectly common to see cherry clone switches like the Gatorons, things get a little bit complicated when manufacturers start cloning those cherry clones. And I'm afraid that it might be the case here. That being said, $41 for a Bluetooth mechanical keyboard, they had to cut corners somewhere. If you want this keyboard with cherry switches, you can find them on AliExpress for a hefty price premium. Speaking of cutting corners, the keycaps feel quite cheap. I said earlier that the legend is legible, but look at this alt key. As you might have realized by now, the multimedia and the function key engravings are an afterthought. This is because there are many variants of this keyboard, there are some without multimedia keys, there's a version with no Bluetooth, and manufacturing keycaps for every single one of them increase the cost. As it has blue switches, the first thing you realize is how loud they are. 
but it's not only because of the switches. Depending on how you type, the plastic keycaps hitting the base can be just as loud as the switches themselves. I've used a keyboard like this before, so I knew what I was getting myself into. Regardless, typing on this keyboard is a breeze. You get used to it pretty quickly, and once you do, you can type on it very quickly without making mistakes. Keycap stabilization isn't great, but to my surprise, it doesn't really affect your overall typing experience. Normally, the least stable key on a mechanical keyboard is the space key, followed by the right shift key. However, on this keyboard, those two are the most stable keys. Overall, at this price point, this keyboard is an entry-level mechanical keyboard that can easily be used as a stepping stone. Alternatively, if you're looking for a secondary wireless keyboard to use at work, this is a great option. Either way, I really don't think you'd be disappointed with it at this price point. Thank you so much for watching, please consider liking this video if you liked it, consider subscribing if you like my content, and I really hope I'll see you guys next time.